Hey guys, I'm standing inside a 2023 Puma fifth wheel. This is a 299 BHS. We haven't done a video on it before, so I thought, why not? Um, as soon as you walk in, you head up the stairs and you are here in the master bedroom. You have your queen size bed. End tables are on each side and there's even some cubby storage space underneath. You could hide some snacks, um, personal belongings, books, glasses, things like that. Power outlets are on each side, but the right hand side actually has a USB port so you can charge devices um, even still on both sides. Closet lockers are hanging above each nightstand and then you also have a uh, two extra cabinets hanging in between. Spot for your TV is located against the wall, so you can have, you know, a nice little movie night going if you want. Couple windows as well, and they both open up to get a nice little cross breeze going. Walking on out, we have the bathroom. Sit down shower, which is just perfect for relaxing. Skylight and vent fan are there above, so some natural light is coming in. Storage space, and it goes all the way back against the wall, so... It's pretty deep. Um, you can fit lots of towels and stuff in there. Hook for your towel, foot flush toilet, even a toilet paper holder, which is pretty cool. Sink storage down below, soap and toothbrush holder, plus a medicine cabinet. So there's already a lot of storage in here. And then as we walk on down to the rest of the coach, it's a pretty open space. So you can have, you know, lots of friends, family, guests over uh, to host and entertain. When you walk in, you are met with some more closet storage space. That is always a plus. Now you can put shoes and stuff in there, your pet's extra food in there, whatever you want. Even a art decal is against the wall. Um, comes with a camper, looks super awesome as well. In your slide out, jackknife sofa, armrests are removable. Even the middle cushion folds down to cup holders. Um, but this also folds down to a sleeping spot for extra people. Uh, you can also lift up the sofa and there is uh, extra storage hidden under there. Windows are back there, more cabinet storage space. There's even a USB port to charge devices while you're sitting relaxing watching TV. Across the way into the entertainment center. I love when the entertainment center is combined with the uh, kitchen space because they give you typically extra countertop space to work with for food prep. Um, so you can kind of dedicate it for that if you want. 31 inch all electric fireplace down below. Then you have your speaker bar, speaker system, whatever you want to call it. Connect your phone, listen to the radio, all that fun stuff. Bracket for a TV, more storage above. Drawer storage and then even just more cabinet space underneath your appliances. Stainless steel kitchen sink with a half roll up cover. Spray faucet. More cabinetry above. Stainless steel microwave range hood. Three burner stove top with a glass cover. Oven down below. A huge refrigerator. I love all the matching appliances. Pantry space too. I mean, they just give you so much storage in here. Turning around to the U-shaped dinette. This will fold down to a sleeping spot. Um, so you really could have every single or every single piece of furniture can sleep someone in this camper. Um, you want to have a space where you can fit everybody. So the Dyna is a huge U-shaped one. Um, storage is underneath each seat as well. Power outlets are there. Um, just an overall awesome place to sit down, eat family dinners, play board games. And then finally on the inside is a barn style sliding door. And then heading up only a couple steps is double over double bunks. Perfect spot for your friends or kids to go. Um, or if you have extra kids, they can come in here too. Power outlets on each bunk. Again, charge devices. Bunk capacity for weight is 300 pounds. Window on your top one and then kind of a window on your bottom one as well. Looks super comfortable, very fluffy mattress. And then here is the closet space for your kids. There we go, doing it with my left hand. Um, closet rack is extending all the way across. And then of course you have a spot for a TV in here as well. As we walk outside real quick, it's pretty windy so bear with me. You have your aluminum siding and then accent lights even on your front cap. Diamond plating is running at the bottom portion of it to just help protect and preserve it. Two propane tanks, one on this side, one on the other. Pass through storage space as well. Even a powered awning to relax underneath. Oversized grab handle, solid steps. This also has an extended season package. A bracket for a TV that is still protected underneath your powered awning. 
access to your water heater as well and outside kitchen with an lp quick connect down below you can pull this uh drawer out and it has access to a sink with an extendable kind of like shower you know hose situation uh drawer space down below and a graystone griddle plus a mini fridge love that front and rear power stabilizing jacks a spare tire and then you are prepped for a rear observation camera as well as a rear ladder for maintenance purposes you can climb up there on your roof check your slide out all that fun stuff more storage and this actually goes uh this is where your bunks are located so that's where that room is fresh and steady water connection as well as an outside shower there's slide out on your non-camping side and then access to your furnace here on the outside then here is the other side of the pass-through storage. So any extra questions or concerns about the 299 BHS Puma fifth wheel, feel free to let us know.